everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne, and I'm a certified RV inspector. And today, we're going to be talking about the best gas Class A RVs, at least the top three, anyway. Now, when people think about Class A RVs, they're usually thinking about diesel pushers. But as soon as you put that diesel engine in that Class A RV, the cost starts rising for all sorts of things. For instance, the engine itself is just going to cost you more than a gasoline engine. So that means the cost of the RV itself is going to be more. But RV manufacturers know that diesel engines push around a lot of weight. And so as a result, they stuff all sorts of luxuries and amenities in those diesel pushers that are expensive to maintain. Also, when it comes to maintenance and repairs of the engine itself, and you compare gas with diesel, well, the diesel's just going to cost you more overall, especially for larger repairs. So what are we saying here? We're saying basically that gas class A RVs are just more affordable overall. Usually you're going to find that they're built on a Ford chassis, and that chassis will have a V8 engine in it and used to have a V10, they switched to the V8, with 350 horsepower. Now the Ford chassis is very popular with RV manufacturers and the reason for that is because it's proven. It's reliable. It's been in use for many years and so they can count on it. But that doesn't mean that it's perfect. And one of the biggest complaints about the Ford chassis is the ride and handling. Now you can take care of that by upgrading the suspension. And one of the best ways to do that is with what's called a liquid spring suspension. It works so well that one of the largest Class A manufacturers, Tiffin, actually offers the liquid spring suspension as an upgrade right at their factory. But it's not cheap. And if you buy this liquid spring suspension on the aftermarket and have it installed, well, it's going to be at least $12,000. So that keeps a lot of people from buying it. Now, what you could do that's less expensive is upgrade many of the suspension components. For instance, you could install Kony shocks all around. You could put a steering stabilizer on, like the safety bar. That's what we have, and it works very well and many gas class A RV owners also install Sumo Springs. Now, by making these adjustments, very often you hear that uh, they're very happy with the results that they have gotten from making these suspension upgrades. The second thing that a lot of people kind of complain about with gas class A RVs is the interiors, that they're drab when compared to diesel pushers, and you know, Really, when you look back over the years, they do have a point there. But the newer Class A RVs are much nicer in their interior. So I invite you to take a look at them now. Having said all of that, let's get to my list of the top three gas Class A RVs that I can recommend as being a quality choice. Number one on the list is one of my favorite manufacturers, that's Newmar, and they make the Baystar. The Baystar comes with 11 different floor plans to choose from. So it's most likely that you're going to find a floor plan in there somewhere that you like. They also give you a wide variety of lengths to choose from, all the way from 30 feet up to 38 feet. You know, there's a lot of RVers that really want a shorter Class A. And that's because they want to go boondocking. They want to get into national parks and forests where the sites are smaller or the same thing with uh, state parks and so on. Or they just like being able to drive around a smaller RV. Well, a 30-footer is a very good choice then. And Newmar fulfills that. The MSRP for the Bay Star is right around $229,000, and you can discount from there. Number two on the list is the Tiffin Open Road, and the Open Road has been in use for years and years. Lots of fans out there of that particular model. 
but Tiffin only offers you five floor plans. And they also cut down the choice of length in the RV as well from uh, to 34 to 38 feet in length. Now, 34 is still much shorter than many Class A RVs out there, so it still could be a good choice for you. From what I can tell on RV Trader, it looks like most Tiffin open roads, the 2022s, are being offered for around $230,000 or so on average, brand new and then discounted from there. Number three on the list is the Integra Emblem. And Integra builds a great Class A RV. Unfortunately, the Emblem only comes in three floor plans, so they're not giving you a lot of choice there. And they eliminate the choice of length because all three floor plans are 38 feet in length. But what a great RV, and I'm sure you would uh, like it. If you like the floor plans and you like the length, will definitely consider the Integra Emblem. Their MSRP will be right around $229,000 also, and then discounted from there. So as you can see, all three of these choices are right around the same cost. They also, all three brands, are very good quality brands that I can recommend to you. Now, does that mean these are all the gas Class A brands that I can recommend. Is that all that's on my list? No, not even by a long shot. There are plenty more gas Class A RVs that I can recommend for you to consider. So I created a guidebook that lists the best Class A RVs, and right in that guidebook is the section on gas Class A RVs. So I recommend that you download that and go through it because it'll give you all of the brands that I can recommend. You know, the ones I mentioned here in the video, those are a very good place to start, but the list will give you lots more to choose from. So consider getting that guidebook. Now, the next thing I want to mention to you though, is that if you buy a new gas class A RV these days, make sure that you get it inspected before you take delivery of that RV. Does that include the manufacturers that I talked about today in the video? And does it include the ones that's on my quality list? Yes, it does. Because every uh, brand out there pretty much has some kind of quality control issues going on these days, even some of the best quality brands. And on top of that, dealers are many times not performing anywhere near a quality pre-delivery inspection when they get the RV from the manufacturer. So I highly recommend protect yourself and do that by having a certified NRVIA inspector go through that new RV right out of the factory and let him find all of the issues that are in that RV. Then when he gives you the list of problems that he found, you can hand that to the dealer as a punch list and tell him that I love this RV, I'm ready to buy it as soon as you fix all of these items to my satisfaction. Now, if you do that before you take delivery of the RV, you'll find that you'll get very good service as a result of that. So if you buy an RV from my list of the best Class A gas RVs, and if you get it inspected before you take delivery and get those issues fixed before you take delivery, well then my friends, you can expect to get the RV that you paid for from the very first day of ownership. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.